How about I save that story for a second date? True asked. Is that what this is? Nate passed the flask back to True and then looked toward the skyline, admiring the faint city lights as they sparkled like distant flames. Too early to tell. True responded matter-of-factly. Well past three in the morning, True had been due back to the bar hours ago. But as she glanced over at Nate, perched as regal as an onyx hood ornament, the decision to bail on her client was made for her. You should chill with all that catalog dating. True laughed took a swig, and permitted the whiskey to linger in her mouth before swallowing. Too many crazies online. <laughs> I'm just trying to get my beak wet. Guess I'm a little rusty. How about you? Nate asked, turning to face True. Date a lot? No. True bit down hard on her bottom lip, allowing the wetness that had developed in the palm of her hands to work its way down to her voracious hotspot. Mm. The typically self-assured young woman let the butterflies doing the tootsie roll in her stomach dull to a quiver before making a move. But there is just something about you that makes me want to yank your hair and call you nasty names. I dare you. Nate leaned in close and connected with True's pouty, full lips. After close to three hours of chatting that felt more like foreplay, True's kiss had the veracity of a Hoover vacuum and left her as wet as Jay Hoover's dam. True grabbed a fistful of Nate's cropped hair and gave it a good yank. <laughs> True laughed. She then strategically placed warm kisses on Nate's neck and lobes until she managed to position herself on top of Nate's body. Mm. The hood of her vintage ride belched underneath the two women as True unbuttoned Nate's shirt and freed a set of spry B cups. If we get caught up here. Nate eyed the deserted scenic overlook and silently contemplated which was more tantalizing, the twinkling city lights or the possibility of being found out. Shh, not another word. True commanded by placing her finger onto Nate's lips. She then thumbed Nate's stiffening nipples as they rose to attention and gradually began to salute the night sky. Next, True's fingers melted into Nate like whipped butter on hot grits. Mm. And as Nate's legs trembled and drifted even further apart, True thanked the Lord for trendy, loose-fitting pants. <laughs>